Hey, good morning. We're going to try something new today. Um, so I've been doing a blog for the past uh, two, three months now where I write every morning. <clears throat> and a lot of it's been motivational, inspirational type stuff. It's talking about my journey. Um, I haven't really, I haven't done a video or anything like that about the, you know, my, my journey, what I went through uh, to get me to this point. I'm just not necessarily going to go into that today. I'm going to save that for another day because it's kind of a long story, but I kind of just wanted to try this um, to go live and I'm going to record this and put it on my blog as well uh, because I was thinking about <clears throat> how we have plans in life, um, how we make plans. And I know there's a saying that we, you know, when we make plans, God laughs. And uh, I, I agree with that to a, to a certain extent, but I don't think it's necessarily the uh, means what people think it means. It doesn't mean not to make plans. It doesn't mean that I can't have intentions for my day. It doesn't mean that I can't have expectations about my day. Now, some expectations are good and some expectations are bad. If I walk into a situation expecting to be the best, most wonderful human being or the best looking, smartest, uh, number one person on planet Earth when I walk into a room, those expectations are probably off. You know, I'm probably going to see some form of failure there. Um, but if I walk into a room with the expectation that I am a human being, that I am imperfect and that I am allowed to make mistakes, <clears throat> but I'm going to go, I'm going to give it my best effort anyway, then I have an idea of humility there. You know, I come from a place of humility to say that uh, even with this, right, like I'm doing this live thing and I'm just trying something new and there's a good chance that I might fail at it and it might be ridiculous or silly or nobody will watch it or whatever, right? Um but it's coming from a place of, I know what I want. I have an idea. I have goals, lots of goals on my goal board um, that I that I want to see happen in my life. And the only reason I want to see them happen is because they're important to me. There are things that light me up. Right? There are things that give me inspiration every day. And uh, I want to be able to fulfill those. I want to go after the things that inspire me, to motivate me to live each day. Because when I wake up in the morning, I want to feel excited about my day. I was talking to my friend. Um, the other night and you know that idea that like we're excited about tomorrow it's like every day is almost like christmas because i go into the day with a plan of action of knowing what i'm going after i know uh that i have a overall intentional set goal for that day and you know whether i know i know that there's going to be things that come up that everything's not going to be perfect all the time that i'm going to have to take a step back and not be able to do what I want to do or something's going to happen and it's going to interfere with those goals. Uh, but the reality that I've learned is that failure isn't a death sentence. I don't have to uh, be terrified by failing anymore because it doesn't mean that I'm dead. As long as I still have breath in my lungs, as long as I can still move forward, I can keep going and, uh, and I can try again. And that's the most important thing that I'm learning is that Success isn't about uh, winning every single time. It's not about walking in, into a room being the best human being. It's not about being number one. It's about being the best you can be. Walking into a room with some form of humility, knowing that um, you may fail. Most likely, if you haven't done it before, you will. Uh, but that's the learning process. And I get to learn every single day and I become better at it. And I've, real, I've realized that I used to be such a child about this. I used to think if I couldn't do it the first time, then I wouldn't do it. I had to be perfect at it. I wanted to be perfect at it because I didn't want to look stupid in front of other people. I didn't want to look like a failure. I had this idea that I wouldn't be accepted if I looked like if I failed at anything. If I wasn't amazing at sports or really funny or really good looking or in great shape or whatever it was, I had this idea that people wouldn't like me. Well, the truth is, People didn't like me because I gave up all the time. I was hiding. I wasn't being myself. Um, and I'm learning just to go out there, you know, put yourself out there, do what you got to do every single day. Have a plan of action. Make sure that you know that you have goals. You know, I didn't know how to set goals for a long time. And a goal isn't something that, like, it doesn't have to be um, anything terrifying. You know, it can be one step at a time kind of goal. Like, if you can't do push-ups, maybe your goal is to do one push-up and you're trying to get in shape. If you're trying to lose weight, maybe your goal is to go for a walk that day. 
it doesn't have to be a massive overarching goal immediately. You know, I've realized starting small has been um, massive. <laughs> starting small has been massive for me in my life, and knowing that that it builds on top of it, on, on top of itself. Like, I had a goal that I wanted to be published. I wanted to write stuff and publish it. So, how I how I went about that was I started a blog, and because. <laughs> Silly as it sounds, when I opened the blog and I wrote something in it, it, there was a little button at the top that said publish. And I thought, well, hey, as soon as I press this button, I have become a published writer. And that tiny idea, that tiny step has uh, in, five, in four and a half, five months has led me to writing two books, publishing, self-publishing both of, the, both of them. One of them hit number one on uh, Amazon bestseller. Uh, Dead Heart and Origin Story, which I'm reading live on this YouTube channel. Um, but it's those little things that we do that that every day, though, that you know turn into massive results. Uh, so I can't be afraid to make a plan, uh, even if it's the smallest plan, to get out of bed a little bit earlier, to get on the ground and do a push-up, one push-up, even if it's just one, or sit down at my desk and write for five minutes, ten minutes, however long it is, or sit in front of a computer and look ridiculous talking to myself, um, whatever it is, whatever the goal is, make sure you make it. <laughs> That's the first step, make it. You gotta make the goal. Uh, and then the whole idea about God laughing at us, God wants the best for us in my opinion. Um, if our goals are in align with with the will, then it'll happen, you know? And I think that if, and I think it's about going after the things that light you up, the things that scare, that scare you the most, are the things that we're supposed to be doing because without that fear, there is no victory. You know, it's like fear truly gives meaning to victory. If I, if I had to walk through something and it was a piece of cake, where's the joy in that? And there's no, there's no joy in the success. If it's just simple, if it's so easy that anybody can do it. Um, so I have to be, I have to be willing to go, go through the fear. You know, it's like these flaming hoops that I get to jump through on the path to success. And that's a, that's a thrilling thing. And as long as I just continue to move th forward through that fear, then my life becomes something of, of a wonderful success. And even doing this, like this live thing, I don't know if anyone's watching or whatever, but it's um, challenging for me because I'm trying to intentionally keep my thoughts in order and, and what I'm trying to say. And, <clears throat> and the whole idea is to get better at speaking in front of people. The whole idea is to motivate other people, to inspire other people to do what they want to do. I mean, you can see around my room, I got these posters up. Rocky, obviously, you got uh, Arnold, I got Steve Jobs, the seven rules of, uh, of life. I've got Muhammad Ali over there. I got some other posters, but it's like these this idea of these people who are so steadfast on what they want. They know what they want. They make a plan of action and they go after it. Um, God was not laughing at their plans because that was the plan that w it was meant for them, you know? And uh, I know Rocky's just a movie, but still, I mean, you look at Sylvester Stallone, the guy, if you've ever heard his story, it's incredible. He, uh, you know, he lost pretty much everything. He even sold his dog so he could be an actor and a, um, and a writer. And, you know, finally Rocky, Rocky hit, and um, he was able to buy his dog back for like thousands of dollars that he had to sell for a couple hundred bucks, you know? Um, but it's these people who are so steadfast in their goals, who know exactly what they want and they go after it no matter what, who are successful. And that's that's what it's about. You know, I talked about it this morning about that we all have this bestseller encoded in our DNA. This life that we've been living, the difficulties that we've faced along the way, that is, that's that's the bestseller. That's the story that we were born to tell. And uh, it's my, my vision for my life, my inspiration. <clears throat> is to help other people tell that story um, because people, other people need to hear it as much as you don't think so, as much as you're afraid to get on camera and tell it, as much as, you know, you think whatever you have to say is silly or stupid. Or, I fought that, that fear my entire life. Like I don't, I didn't want people to see me. I didn't want people to think I was stupid or ugly or whatever it was. Fighting, getting through that fear is going to be the greatest thing you can do for yourself because people need to hear your story. There's, there's somebody out there, that needs to be able to relate to you so that so they don't feel so alone. There's people out there that need to be inspired by what you're doing. 
so they can they can do that thing for themselves and they can inspire the next generation of people. Um, we were all put here to tell stories to each other, to communicate with each other in a community. Uh, and I think that's one of the greatest things we can do for one another is lift each other up, love each other uh, to the point where there is no fear of it anymore. We have to be able to, to support one another because there's enough for all of us, you know, and that's one of the greatest things I've learned. There's enough for everybody in this world. Uh, this world is one of abundance of plenty. I know that I can have the exact amount of success that I want for my life and you can too, uh, because it's all available to us. Now it's just about going to do it. It's about making that plan. Am I going to have a plan of action or am I going to, am I going to say, well, God's going to laugh at me. Other people are going to laugh at me. So I might as well just not do it. Or am I just going to do the thing that I need to do? You know? So that's what I'm trying to do today. I want to make sure that I have a plan of action. And I do the thing that I need to do today, regardless of anybody else's fear. And thank you so much for jumping in the back of my video that I'm recording live. Sorry. Nice work. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. You'll have people jump into your life that just have no idea what, what's going on. And you got to be okay with that. You got to roll with the punches. Um, so I'm going to post this up on my blog too. I was trying to use this dictation software on uh, on Word because I've been trying to write. And I've, been, I've been trying to keep up my writing, but it's been so difficult um, with all the interviews and stuff going on. So I figured I could try this dictation software to help keep my um, productivity up and it's the worst software known to man. I was going to record a video of myself using it, but it kept erasing every single line that it wrote. So it's not even, it doesn't work period. Um, I'm going to go back and see if there's some kind of glitch I can get fixed, but uh, yeah. So do the thing you're supposed to do today. Be the best version of yourself. Have a wonderful blessed day with love. Oh, wait a second. I wanted to read this because it touches my heart and my soul and my body. Let me pull it up for you. Um, let's see. Let's see. You'll probably, you'll probably know this quote. If I can get it, I should have, I should have pulled up, but oh well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, you know? It was so easy to find the other day. It could be an issue. But now, now it's like pulling teeth. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's called our deepest fear. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I have no idea what that means. But if you got anything out of it, good for you, mate. Bye-bye. Oh, yes, yeah, subscribe and stuff. <laughs>